guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And I am back with another polymer clay and resin tutorial, but with a twist. In addition to these two materials, I am adding chameleon inks. For those of you who don't know chameleon pens, they are a great way to add gradient to your projects. If you want more information on it, I will leave it in the description box below. I will link to the videos, to the website, and all the awesome stuff. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys learned how to make your very own betta fish in a tank. So many of you guys requested another miniature tank, and I really wanted to do something colorful, and this was the perfect time to highlight the chameleon pens. I absolutely love the colors on this little guy, but you can definitely make it any color you want of any betta fish that you've ever had, or that you would like to have. If you don't have the ink refills, that's okay. What you can do is bake your fish as it is, and then you can take your markers and color on top of it. It works equally well. The one I made for the tutorial is much bigger than the one I made for the mold. So of course, make it in any size that you want, depending if you want to make it into a necklace, a pin, a magnet, or any other kind of ornament that you want. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. If you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. Here's what you'll need for this project. Chameleon's refill ink. I will put the colors I used in the description box below. Translucent and black polymer clay. These are from Sculpey. A silicon mold. You can find these either at Amazon or on eBay, and they're usually used for baking. Rounded and pointy tool, and your resin kit. This can be found either at Michael's or a home hardware store like Home Depot. Now for the betta fish, it's fairly simple. You're going to take your translucent clay and make a kind of bullet shape out of it. Lightly flatten it down. Put a little bit of texture on the body. If you have any tools that have texture, go ahead and use that. Make a small indent with your rounded tool and put black in there for the eye. Take your cutter and just lightly shape the idea of where the mouth is, as well as the gill. Now you're going to take your translucent clay again and you're going to flatten it out really, really thin. You want the shape to not be too straight, so go ahead and use your fingers and flatten the piece as much as you can. You're going to smooth them in to the body. We're going to put one on top, one at the bottom, and then one for the tail. For the pectoral fins, you're just going to take a small piece as well and place them on either side of the gills. So you should have something that looks like this. You're going to take your chameleon inks, use a pointy tool, and lightly go over the parts you want the colors. In order to get a lighter color, you can take the color that you want. So for example, I'm taking the blue and mixing a couple of drops of the colorless blender. I'm using my painting palette to do that. Make sure you wipe your pointy tool. You can equally use toothpicks if you don't have it. Before doing the other side of the fish, make sure that you give it enough time to dry. Have fun, experiment, make as many colors as you want. Go ahead and move the fins and make them look like they're flowing because if it's in water, it has to be flowy. If it's too stiff, it won't look realistic. Now you're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Of course, the one I'm making for the video is much bigger than the one I'm making for the mold. Once it's baked, mix your resin according to package instructions and put a thin layer first in your mold. If you want to put seaweed, go ahead and do that. Let it cure for six hours. Put your fish. And then you're going to put a second layer of resin. Let it cure completely for 24 hours before removing it from the mold. Once you've removed it from the mold, you're going to put two borders of black, one on top and one at the bottom, just so that it looks like an aquarium.
My brand of resin is okay to be put in the oven at low temperatures. Make sure that it's okay with your brand before doing this. I'm going to bake my aquarium for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. All done! Don't forget to check out all the information on chameleon pens. If you're an artist, they are a great addition to your collection, kind of like Perlex powders. Once you have them, they're kind of hard not to have. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And if you make anything geeky, don't forget, hashtag nerdycrafter on Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.